Oh uh, yeah, I need a spot heal here because I'm really low on health. And I have him set to 25%. He's about to burn me. So this heal has to get there before I get burned to death. to loot the place. Make sure to reapply the Zerk, obviously. But yeah, pretty much clean, easy. Just standard tank and spank. Uh, let's go Evil Tome. As a two-handed player, you're probably not going to be able to just stand there in front of him like I did. You won't have the defense, um, but you can use the same kind of kite tactics, and you'll probably be killing him way faster due to your uh, increased damage and the fact that you'll have more abilities that uh, deal heavy damage. You'll be able to tank just as well, pretty much, but you will probably have to kite that guy after one fire blast because he might chain stun you, but just make sure to leave your party out there. And if you have to, manually spot heal your character when he is at a threshold where he is too low on health to, uh... To survive the fire blast for, uh, Anders will tactically heal at 25%. If he's really low, the fire blast will kill him before Anders even thinks to, uh, cast another heal, so... Just make sure you manually heal if you do get low. Positioning was very easy, just move them away from the dragon and tank him. He's not gonna try to get away from you. This can actually be a tough fight uh, because the mage is pretty strong uh, and there is also a named rogue character but make sure to kill the mage first he is a blood mage he will do his little uh, fetal position aoe and kill your whole party type of deal you know how they do it i thought the captain would send more very original
That should be the last of them. All right, so we lost Anders in that fight, but that's mostly because I didn't feel like uh, doing anything with him. I'll tell Lieutenant Jalen that the keep uh, You can move and tell your guys to hold position at the top of the pretzel while you kill the guys and then bring them in, but I just didn't really care. That was laziness on my part. Uh, if you don't want Anders to die, you would... Uh... You would probably have these dudes hold position here, about here. Uh, this puts them out of the range of the archers on these rocks. They will not be able to shoot your guys. And it also will keep Anders alive. I just really didn't care. I mean, I, I'm i very aggressive when it comes to uh, playing as the sword and shield warrior. So I see no problem just running in and going balls to the wall. But obviously, that's probably not the uh, best uh, way to do it. Rube of the Notorious Pirate. Now that's just rude. What are they Hopefully trying it's to a good sell item boots. because I'm not wearing it. Do you think we could go swimming later? Oh, more traps. We're good to go. Anders. Anders, where's my haste? Yeah, that's like 20 minutes too late, bro. It's a good thing you're paying attention. He's still pissed at me for letting him die. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Saved you that. <laughs> uh, come here, Verk. Verk, secure your dagger. They're just gonna go. In, uh, I'm gonna take one more loop around this place, I think. Not right there. Now we checked it already. I always double check everything though. You gotta look at it every extra mile you go, see what I mean? Uh, every piece of loot is more gold. And considering gold makes this game every it makes every it makes the whole difference in this game, it really step. does. Alright. So onward we go. Later on, that cave does open up. Again. I don't know who puts these, uh, like, big wagons in front of the place and then, like, later on just removes them from there, but... you can do uh, especially if they're just gonna go after Anders Thank you. Anders has very low health and absolutely no armor <laughs> whatsoever don't suppose I could give that a shot if you want you can actually skimp a, mo a more a even more on his willpower oops don't suppose I could give that oh a my shot. god I'm using every character but very get them we should get going do you think we could go swimming? Yeah, I know we should get going. How about I like, open this chest, though? That's why we came here and got mobbed and destroyed. Anders is obviously the weakest character on your uh, in your party. But that's why next level you should... Since he's got Swift Justice now, next level definitely pick up Rock Armor. That will keep him alive way longer than you think. Because right now his survivability is just atrocious. And I never use that word. Unless it's, uh... Oh, we can only hope that they can handle that one enemy that got past me. I think that's of course. That. that dude ran right past my taunt.
this guy actually sells some of the best mage gear in the game. If you are a mage player, you should definitely check this dude's wares out. This is actually uh, one of the best Blood Mage staffs, and it's really, really good for Meryl. Uh, but if you like playing Blood Mage, uh, this is one of the best staffs. Uh, it is the second best staff in the game for Blood Mages, I think, or it might be the first. I know the last staff is really good, though. Something like Dream, the Intrepid Dream or something, that's probably the best one, but what are you going to do? I know nothing about it. I've yet to play the Mage class, so... So that concludes the Wounded Coast up to this point. We're gonna immediately leave. Let's get out of here. Okay. Remember that vendor? Uh, he does not have anything for us right now, but I think in Act 3 he does sell something we're gonna buy. Alright, what we're gonna do right now is we're actually going to, uh, we're gonna go buy all the books and skill books and tomes and all this other stuff that we can buy right now. Uh, so we have that all out of the way and that way we can't possibly forget them at the end of Act 2. First thing we are buying is from the Trinket Monger in Lowtown. It is the Tome of Mortal Vessel. Two attribute points for your hawk.
totally going the wrong way, but that is one of the quest uh, people for uh, Sketch, whatever his name is. We have to do that. That is a lot of armor. That is like a really high level item right there. Especially for this chapter. The the set bonus item is a 25 strength, 25 constitution. So this is definitely worth picking up if you want it. Here's our tome of Mortal Vessel. I'm gonna buy this. Now we're going to head back to Sundermount. Here the elf sells our final book of Tome of Technique for Act 2. If you walk the path, watch your step up. Dalish crafting is second to none. 